A group traveled to the state capitol over the weekend to bring awareness to sex trafficking. Today, we're hearing from a survivor who's using her experience to educate others. I will always, till the day I die, tell this message that we can overcome. A voice rising up, calling on others to listen. People need to understand just because there's a woman that's a prostitute on the street, that's not her choice. Jennifer Beagle of Simpsonville knows from personal experience. I never once as a child said, I want to grow up and be a prostitute. Sunday, she shared how she became a survivor of sex trafficking as a tool to educate. 90% of children that end up in sex trafficking knew their first Beagle says she first faced sexual abuse as a seven-year-old, the age she was in this photo when she lived in Florida. She says she knew the predator. There are a stream of things that happened to me that led me down that path. But just because I went down that path doesn't mean that I don't have value and that I don't have purpose today. Along with speeches, organizers say they wanted to bring nonprofits that directly benefit survivors to the people in hopes of making lasting change. You can't just put a Band-Aid on these issues. One of the nonprofits, Safe Passage, is trying to build a home for children in Kentucky who have been trafficked, something the group says Kentucky doesn't have. I've never in my life asked myself, what is Kentucky doing for trafficked youth? I said, I know no one else has asked that question. So she's working to provide a solution. It is inhumane to sell a person. It is inhumane to steal a baby, to steal a child, to steal an adult and sell them for any means. It is downright evil. It is wrong. A wrong Beagle is trying to write in Kentucky and across the country.